All right, so this video I want to talk about emperor preparation and things that I learned from last time. Now, this is kind of a spur of a moment idea, so I'm not going to have all the time to repair like I did um, in the Hybe campaign where I, you know, more skills, I stocked up on gear, weapons, blah, 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 blah. And to be truthfully honest with you, I don't think you have to go to that extent to get emperor anymore. Okay, I can use these flaming oils, got that. Um, the game has changed. There's a couple ways to get Emperor. There's the legit way, there's the long duration way, and there is the cheating way. We're not doing the cheating way, which is stupid little manipulations of the system. Now, with the AP gains and the delves, I think that's going to be a key factor for people trying to get Emperor. And I think this experiment 2.0, even if I don't get it, will give me some more insight into PvP like I didn't get, uh, like I got last time. So, I really want a strong opinion on PvP that is credible, and I think I'm missing something. I don't PvP enough to honestly give you that perspective, and so this is another attempt to get more more familiar with PvP in terms of you know what you need to do to be a high-end player. And I want to be a high-end player. I'm not there. I am not there yet. But we're going to get there. So, um, the biggest thing here to load up on <clears throat> is to keep masonry walls. This actually, over time, is a really fast way to, not fast, it's slow, tedious, but you can get a lot of alliance points. You can get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of AP in just repairing. It's something that's super undervalued that people don't do that I think is amazing. Okay, so with that being said, so I, I need to stock up on gear, which I'm going to probably spend all my gold on all my characters buying stuff like that. I'm also going to respec. Now, I am using champion points in this character. That does give me a pretty significant advantage over people that don't. Um, you know, whether that's fair or not, I don't know. I'm not here to decide fair. I'm here to try to get Emperor, and I'm going to use my damn skill points, attributes, everything I can to get it. I don't care. Um, so, I'm going to reset all this stuff and redo it. I'm going to reset every skill. I don't have enough gold, of course. I'm broke. I'm always broke. I'm going to reset every skill. I'm going to reset my champion points because what we're going to do is do a very specific build. This is the Laceration Dumber Dragon Knight. So, the last, what I learned last time in PvP for Emperor is you have to be survivable. You have to do two things. You have to be survivable. You should, like, just never die. You just, you have to make a build so you're not dying all the time. Remember, if you're dying, you're losing tons of AP, tons and tons of AP, just sitting around, wandering back. We don't want to die. So we're going to build something that can sustain a lot of damage, can heal, and do DPS. That's my whole thing. If I'm not going to be able to kill people like in three seconds, I don't care. That's not my goal. My goal in this build, this character, is to be super survivable. Frontline fighter, but also being able to heal. Healing is really important, especially if you're getting Emperor, because you th you spray some what I call DPS dust on people, or you spray some healing heal over time. You're getting AP for their actions. So even on a lobby here, I only have what restoration stuff. Twenty five. I don't even have any of the passives. So we're gonna respec so that way we get um, those skills from distractions tree and put them in restoration staff. Dragonites actually do pretty, pretty good healers, believe it or not, um, because you can get a shield. And some of the other utility abilities I need to unlock, and hopefully I can unlock in one day, which are the cleanse. Especially with the way things are in Cyrodiil with Siege right now, Hello. Dragonites don't have an inherent way to cleanse. The only way to cleanse on a Dragonite is to get this purge, Alliance Rank 4. So I need about 60,000 AP. Hopefully I can get that today on stream. Um... So if I get that, then I'll really be self-sufficient. I'll be able to heal myself, cleanse myself. It's going to be just basically up to having a lot of magic, being able to cast a lot, so I can survive almost anything. Let's go ahead and respec the attributes. Go ahead and respec all that stuff. We're going to respec champion points, too. All right, we're going to start fresh. And confirm. 3K goal. This is where all my goal goes. Well, that's a lot of champion points, 120. Okay. So, now that I got a fresh respec, what I want to do is go into Serio, because the bolstered stats, right? I want to make sure that when I actually spec my character, I get the bolstered effect, or whatever it's called, battle level, or whatever in this game. So, 
That way I can get a realistic picture of what my stats are gonna be when I get in there. And speaking of which, I don't have any. Do I have food? I don't have food. So let's go check if the guild bank has some food. Because that also will be uh, advantageous. Now, I think I'm gonna use drinks. I need to check my provisioner to see if I have, like, purple drinks. I plan to get this guy to level 30 by tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this guy to level 30, recraft a bunch of gear, and super twink him out. So I can be awesome. Awesome. The drinks, Loby drinks, and I'm talking about the, the crafting provisioning ones that boost your stats. Not your stats, but your recovery. That's going to be super valuable in PvP. Because it's easy to get 20, 25k um, health. Alright. So drinks. What, where are these at? Level 35. Look at that. Health recovery, stamina. So if I get a purple recipe drink at 30, that would be super helpful. So let's see. What's this at? 40? Ooh, magic and stamina by 2. Th that's just an incredible amount. Alright, so we're going to use the drinks. I'm going to have to find a provisioner or do it myself. That will be another task today. We might as well write these down. What do we say we had to do? To-do list. Oh my god. To-do list is getting crazy. Need to get purge. Need to get food. Need to buy siege. The list gets longer and longer. The more stuff you can prepare for, the better. But there's always going to be something that comes up. There will always be something that comes up. Like last time, I had a really close family friend that died. Just... Bang, just dead. Like, and I, you know, we had to go to the funeral. And that, that after that, I just killed my Emperor Run. They just killed me. I mean, it tore the family apart. It was terrible. This guy was like, I mean, we went to the family reunion of this guy. He was just an amazing part of our family. And he, you know, he was my best, dad's best friend. And something like that's going to come up during this. Hopefully not someone dying, but what I'm trying to get you, you're in the mindset here, is be prepared for anything, because it will happen. Like I said, after that, I was just, you know, it was it was a soul killer there, but you gotta deal with it. Um, and then what I learned last time is, when the campaign flips, stick to your normal schedule. So don't do the whole like what I did is I stayed up till four in the morning, and then my whole schedule for the whole week was off. And I and you're either gonna get Emperor right away in the beginning, or you're gonna have to long haul it. So if you long haul it. Stick to your normal plan. You should probably sleep deprive yourself beforehand, so that way you're used to only getting five or six hours of sleep. And some people do four and three. I, I can't do that. I'll just be a crabby D bag, and you guys don't want that. See, I'm at 27,000 health. How am I at 27,000 health? Good lord. I might as well do all magic. All right, so let's get the really important abilities. Rapid's going to be very important. Races. Oh, yeah. Dumber, baby. It's legit. Once, what do I get my next ring? Ooh, next 30. Get more magic and stamina. Hell, yeah. All right. So we're going to go... I like shifting standard. I really do. Um, probably as it doesn't reduce my the damage taken. So if I sit in my standard, like, you're not killing me. Plus, it's going to do a lot of damage. All right. So we got to get extended chain. We gotta get uh, burning embers for the self heal. Uh, where's the magic one? There we go. Gotta get level. Up. Gotta get that morph too. Put one point in each passive. Ferocious sleep I really like. Uh, take flights further so I can get into keeps. Ah, oh, it's offensive. Thirty six meters so I can get into keeps. Yeah. We're going to use Take Flight so I can get into Keeps and do crazy little tricks. We're also going to go Burning Talons, of course, Dream Dragon's Blood, Flapper Flappers. Points into here. Oh yeah, Battle Roar, baby. Oh, I need to get this morphed. I need to get Obsidian Shield morphed big time. Okay, so I'll be unlock Magma Armor because it is super useful. So for this, I'm going to use Sword and Shield. I don't know why I unlocked that. We're going to go with the typical Invasion Stun. Sword and Shield Resto. And Resto. So Healing Springs, Bread and Butter. 
said fast forward. I like the ward for like a, a da damage shield, though I do have igneous shields. We're just gonna unlock a bunch of these. All right, now we're getting close to being done here. Reses are actually really important too. Allows you to rev revive once every two hours without spending a soul gem. That's actually really important. Alright. So for here you're gonna need extra ultimate when killing Daedra. That's good. Because your enemy players might be vampires. Which mage light, those are both really good. I'm not using any magic. Mage's guild skill, so I actually can save some points there. Not using any of this stuff. I already put points into here. Got my racials. Don't really need any stuff right there. Alright, so let's go back and pump up the passives. Ooh, got some good passives there. We'll need spiked armor eventually, probably. So, that unlocked. And if we need to level up the skill line, we'll get those abilities unlocked. Alright, so sword and shield. Really, I just need invasion to level it up. So I'm going to go with my typical Dragonite build. Lava Whip needs leveled. Got Flappers. Got Green Dragon's Blood. And for my ulti, we're going to standard here. And the back ulti, we're going to do Take Flight. With the Resto Staff. So for the Resto Staff, we're going to go Obsidian Shield, Retreating Maneuvers, and uh, a bunch of heals. Okay, so I got, I got a couple heals. Now, I can, I'm can. i probably going to swap out for chains. I'm probably going to go with... Um, I'm probably going to go with the purge once I get it. So that way I can purge. I'm self-sufficient. I'm not going to... I'm going to be very, very tanky. Very, very survivable. Okay, so we got that done. Let's go in the champion points. Now, this is actually going to be really key. Also, how much medium armor do I have? The reason I'm going to want to go with medium armor is stamina recovery, uh, reduced stam cost, and more do dodge rolling and stuff. I think that's going to be really important. So, we're probably going to go 5 light to 2 stam. Yeah, we'll do that. That needs to be written down. 5 2. 5 light, 2 stam. All right. I got a lot of work to do today. A lot of work to do. Ooh, reduce stinking cost. Need that. Entropy mage light. Okay, so. All right, we're good there. Okay, so I have tons of champion points. This is gonna give me a huge advantage. Now, when I said I wanted to be survivable, I, I really need a variety of champion points here. So s a sprinkle of everywhere because I want reduced stamina and magic. So I have 40 to spend. Now this tree I usually don't spend points in, but reduces the uh, duration of Snare of Fear is Disorient. That's good. Uh, where do I want this? Reduce stamina cost of Roll Dodge and Break Free. That's huge. I mean, what's 10% get? 4%? Oh, that's huge. Hmm. 4%. That's a lot. Do it. Alright, got 10 there. So I'm going to split up 5 and 5 here. Good stam recovery, good match recovery. Then instead of the stamina cost stuff, I'm going to go straight magic cost, 20%. That gives me really good damage reduction. Okay, so we got that. Now in the red. So this stuff is really helpful. Field position reduces damage while resurrecting. That's, that's probably worth getting that. Absorbing effects, that's going to be helpful. Increased effectiveness of healing received. God, it's so helpful. So let's do five here, five here. The damage absorbing effects, igneous shields. Get that field position, that's gonna be super important. Now spell absorption, we know we gotta get that. Resilience, so restores whatever when you get critically attacked. But what's over here? That's good, that's good. Reduce block cost, god, gotta have that too. We go 10 points here, reduce block cost 5%. That's just incredible. All right, so now what, I got 20 points to spend here. So there's a lot of flame damage, thick skinned. Let's go eight, eight. 
Oh, didn't do eight. Eight, eight, four. So that would give me good defense against fire, flame, all that stuff. I get spell absorption. I don't really get the crit hit thing, but it's fine. It's only 280 damage. I'd rather have reduced blocking. So I think that's a good setup for as far as my defensive goes. So offensively, we're all about that fire damage. Now, remember, we're healing too, though, so we're going to have to split this up. I'm probably just going to do 10 across the board. So I can heal pretty decent, get more healing, increase fire, flame resistance. So it's a good variety of places to spend points. All right, so that's the PvP champion point spec loadout that I got. Look at the stats here. So recovery is at a, a thousand. That's awesome. Stamina recovery is super low. So we're going to need to boost that. We're also going to need to get those drinks. So if I boost his stamina recovery by 630. I use Dragon's Blood at 720. Okay, so 230 here. Looking at a thousand and twelve hundred. That should be pretty good. That should be good. So that's going to be key. Also, what jewelry am I wearing? Reduce magic cost. Okay. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, two medium pieces of gear, medium, would help us out tremendously. So let's just see what it looks like when we do two medium. Two medium would increase our stamina regen significantly. And if we get the skill leveled up, and we can do more points into the uh, low dodge rolling cost. Now, dodge rolling, you know, is, is how I survive in PvP with stamina. Also, if I'm going to be blocking all the time, got to have reduced reduce block. Alright. Let's see if we can't just get a couple out of the bank here. Oh, where's the banker? That is dodge roll past the banker. I haven't played DC much, you can tell, huh? Still bank. Alright. Do I have two medium pieces that I can wear? Here's one. Sure. Oh, these are actually good medium pieces. Level 12, fine. Level 11, great. Alright. So now that doesn't really do... St Why is the stamina recovery so low? It must be because I don't have all the passives. That barely increased it. 720. Let's read that passive. Uh, 2% per piece. So if I got another point in it, then it would be a lot more. Reduces stamina, cost of abilities. 4%. Hmm. So 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It'd probably be worth it once I get this. Probably be worth it, but that's 42 in the armor skill line, so that's a quite a ways. Reduces cost of sneaking and detection. Yeah, it's worth it. Critical strike. We don't really need that. So once I get those two, it'd be really good. Okay. So that's the loadout. Oh, is Brindle getting hit? Brindale. Yeah, blueberries are awake, baby. Blueberries are awake. Get woke up. Yeah. All right, so that's a good skill loadout. So what I need to do now is hit level 30, recraft a bunch of gear. Probably going to go with seducers, maybe arena. I don't know. Even on a low is still powerful. Do that. I'm going to redo the jewelry. Um, so that way I get some, some good stats on the jewelry. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Um, so as far as materials that I need, I need a lot and lot of siege. And I bought all the Siege on my AD characters, and it's Dominion, so you can't use it. I'm that big of a PvP nub, I didn't even know that. So, uh, Siege I'm going to need, also Wall Repair Kits. Wall Repair Kits are going to be major important. There's a Siege Vendor. There we go. I don't even have any gold to buy. Fire Blister, I don't think. Covenant Ballista. We're going to go Fire Ballista. Because everyone loves their Fire Ballistas now. And Fire Trib. I could spend my AP, but I want to save it for the time being. Alright, so we got a to-do list. We're going to go at it. But this is some of my Emperor prep training slash to-do list things that you guys have seen. So now I'm going to go do this stuff. And then, um, yeah.
stream today, see if we can't do some lobby PvP, get this, the, this map cleaned up, and get ready for an M push.